Friends and enemies, welcome again to the Who Cares podcast. That's right, my voice is ridiculous right now. It's shot, but you know why? Because I just came from goddamn Dallas, okay? Did you come from Dallas? No, you didn't. Did you fly on a plane? Well, maybe some of you did. Okay, you probably did fly on a plane. But let's talk about it live here on the Who Cares podcast. Welcome to the Who Cares podcast, a podcast that enters your soul. With your host, Stephen Moraga. Now, I just came back from Dallas, and I sound like shit. And right now, I'm going to gargle for you some honey and salt that my boy, uh, Richie, uh, made me here. Hold on one second. And I, wa- <clears throat> and I wonder, do you guys make noises when you gargle? Because you really don't have to make that noise, right? You can just gargle it. You don't have to say, right? I didn't realize that until much later on. I didn't realize that until much later on. I didn't know that you're you're not supposed to make, please don't honk your horn. I didn't know you're supposed to just gargle it and not be like so dramatic like I was. But I'm going to be dramatic because uh, you guys listen here for the real story, the real things that go on in life. <clears throat> and this is a real story. It's a story about One family and a friend. A friend who hadn't seen his other friend for a long time. And they talked. And then one friend said, I'll go. And the other friend said, I'll pick you up at Love Field in Dallas. And then all of a sudden, I get picked up. And, uh, man, this family could have been more beautiful. I mean, I don't even know. It... It truly gave me faith in humanity because I don't know about your kids, but and I don't have any, so I can actually judge all of your kids. But this family, uh, man, uh, I wish, I wish, you know, when I'm gone on vacation and stuff, when call, yeah, I'm called vacation, yeah, definitely. When I'm gone on vacation, or if I'm not doing it for business or anything like that, I try to leave my phone kind of, you know, um, in my pocket or or in my my uh, travel travel bag or whatever because um, I don't know about you guys but who the fuck wants to see you and some friend that you've known forever having a great time or something I mean whatever that's between you guys those are real memories I mean you can take a picture but we don't need to post it we don't we don't need to see fucking Mount Olive or we don't you know I mean I took a couple pictures yes but if you notice I didn't put any on Instagram like those are for me, me and I, me and my boy Jaime to, to to have, and and if they were really fantastic, I guess I don't even know if we took any. That's that's how much we could give a fuck about posting, because I feel like people who post, they're just like shit. When do I get back home? At least this will be good enough for me to share right now, right? You don't need to share everything, and I think. Society's going to look back at this time and they're going to say, <clears throat> they're going to say like, what the fuck were you guys doing? What were you guys doing? Did you guys not enjoy each other a little bit? But you're out there like snapping, 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 you know, wherever you go. Like, I feel bad for the husbands out there. I mean, I really do. The husbands are the ones that really feel the blow because I know the women. I know that they just want to be snapping every, and I'm sure that the husbands are like, Jesus, I brought you here. I paid for this, uh, bed and breakfast up here in the winery country or wherever the hell you guys go. I don't know. And old girl over here is just snapping, snapping, snapping. Look at that and snapping pictures of like fucking grape fields. Who the fuck cares about that? Or like some, uh, stalactites. Or, I mean, I understand it's beautiful to you, but if you don't have that motherfucking filter, cause I just, I just now tonight got the iPhone 12, was it 12? <coughs> Excuse me. I just now tonight got the new iPhone. And yes, it probably would be a, an amazing stalactite picture if I was in the Matterhorn at Disneyland or if I was in the actual stalactite place, wherever that is in like Norway or somewhere, right? But that's not where I'm at. I'm at maybe somewhere in Utah. And I understand Utah is so beautiful. But you know why it's beautiful? 
It's beautiful for you guys and the people you're with. And ain't nobody else going to be like looking at that and saying, you know what? I wish I was there because they're in their mind. They're thinking I'll get there. Maybe I guess it doesn't look that great because maybe you were like shaky with the camera or maybe your kids are acting up or I don't know a whole bunch of reasons. But I think that if you want pictures of your family and you want pictures for whatever the case may be, I did take pictures, but I didn't post anything. See, except for that one, that's just somebody's coming in around. But I haven't post anything because um, that's for us. Jaime knows his family is beautiful. I know my family or me. <laughs> I'm beautiful. <laughs> that's very arrogant. But what I'm saying is, uh, that's for you guys to know. And if you want to share it between each other. And I think that the generations coming up are going to laugh at us for being so fucking post worthy. Uh, I mean, I laugh at those people, you know, those people that like take, um, uh, selfies, right? And they fall off cranes and stuff. You know what? Darwinism is a funny thing, isn't it? I get it. You know, they might be good looking. They might even have this idea. I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on the crane. But then you know what? That idea should have stopped down at the bottom of the crane. Don't go up there. Don't go up to that mountain and try to take a picture. You're not going to get clout. There's a kid that I saw from uh, my parents' town from Whittier. He does flips, thinks he's, he wears a Spider-Man suit. We probably should bring him up here on the podcast because I tried to get a hold of him, but he's, of course, like a, a little bougie kid or something. And uh, he flips everywhere. He just does front flips because he's really he's good at that. And that's great. You're good at that, kid. You know who's not good at that? The kid that's blind. But you know what that kid that's blind did? His name's Stevie Wonder, and he can play fucking beautiful music. Can you do that? And you know what? His music is way better than your stupid flips over wherever in downtown LA, hunting, hunting to beer. That cloud chasing shit is ridiculous. And I think everybody, everybody needs to just calm the fuck down. I know you've been bored. I understand your parents are weird. And maybe that kid had to play Uno every night with his parents. And they're like, well, why aren't you going to play Uno tonight? Aren't you going to play Uno with us? No, I want to go do flips outside, dad. I want to go do flips outside. And I want to, I want to take bong rips so that everybody knows that I'm a big stoner. And I want to put that on blast for everybody to see because what everybody doesn't understand is that everybody's watching. And when you take your kids, when you take them through the caverns or you take them to, to places, you know, uh, maybe there's backyard barbecues or wherever it is. I don't know. And you're so proud of them and, and you think that's a good idea. Maybe there's your, maybe your kid, you just caught your kid smoking a cigarette. I don't know. Or maybe you caught him like smoking some weed. I don't fucking know because I don't have any. But I do know that we're tired of seeing them. Get them off. Put them in a goddamn booklet put them in a booklet for you because you're the only one that really needs to know about them get your voice heard when everybody is out there on the streets just waiting to go viral you have another opportunity and that is to come to anchor download the free anchor app and join us here at the what's the play family and make sure that you DM us here, Stephen, at Who Cares the Podcast, or go to info at what's the play.net so you can join our family. We'll promote the shit out of it. We will promote everything about you. Make sure you're cool. We're not going to promote some of the weirdos. We're going to make sure we promote you because everybody needs their voice to be heard. Everybody during this time needs that voice, right? Don't you need that voice? You can go global tomorrow. Just join anchor.fm. Go to anchor.fm to get started, all right? But make sure more than all that you join the What's the Play family. Info at what's the play.net will help you set it up, will help you go through all the situational things that you need to do. And tomorrow morning, we'll make sure that you get your voice heard. So, anyways, I went to Dallas, right? And Dallas, I want to say right now, Dallas is clean. Did you know that? <clears throat> Dallas is right. You wouldn't you wouldn't think that with an all Hispanic and African American population, right? I know that's what you're thinking right now, you racist. But what I'm saying is that it is really fucking clean. I mean, it is 
not Japan clean, but pretty close. All right. And, uh, so me and my buddy, when we went down there, he took me out to the, the, one of the nights down there and I was just losing my mind. They got, did you know they have digital screens there? I'm like, Dallas? I'm thinking of them like, you might have a roadie or something. Nah, nah, it's a whole other Dallas. I think all the, uh, I don't know where the white people went. You know, like the people that when you think of Dallas, you think of like cowboy hats and, and uh, belt buckles and shit. Well, that shit's over, which is fine because I guess it used to be dirty. So now, uh, this generation, and unfortunately for everybody out there that's racist, uh, they're ethnic. And their uh, their ethnicity shows ethnic. Well, their ethnicity shows basically. There's Hispanics, blacks, and a couple whites all getting along, having a great time, all in a clean atmosphere, all in a nice, laid back, slow pace. So I just want to say shout out to Dallas because Dallas, Dallas. But I, you know, I can't say how great Dallas is because <clears throat> let me get some more honey. What if, what if Dallas, if I had gone there and I met some idiot friend of mine, I didn't, but what if I did that? Then Dallas would be shitty probably. And I'd be like, oh God, I'm here with this person or whatever. And it would be like the longest, but I, I, I uh, hung out with my friend's family. And I haven't seen this dude in, in 15 years. And, um, honestly, God, it, it was so bizarre because I went, you know, he's very, he's so thankful that I'm there, right? And then his, his kid is ironing his pants before he goes fishing. What the, do you know any, I mean, maybe your kid does, but if their kid does, email me at Stephen, who cares, podcast.com, cause I can't even fucking believe that. Then I go to the next room and it's, uh, his daughter and she's playing like, um, Requiem or some sonata, right? And I'd say to her, I go, I played piano for fucking 12 years or something, right? So I know a little bit about melodies, right? And I'm like, well, that's, that's really fucking good. What's amazing? How long have you been playing? You know, you're probably like 15 or some of that, right? And she said, nine months. Nine months. <laughs> and I just started looking at everybody. I'm like, is everybody fucking talented in this household? And then later on, <clears throat> God damn it. Later on, I go hang out with the uh, other son and uh, good looking kid. And he's, you know, but I could tell he was a little like on edge a little bit. He's probably like, who the fuck is this guy that my dad's friends with? And uh, he has a podcast. I mean, what What is he from L.A.? Do you think he's all that? And a bag of chips or whatever. And yes, I am. But. I'm also very compassionate and I also want to know everybody's story. And I just kind of start talking a little bit. And then all of a sudden I'm like, well, what, you know, like, are you, you're good. Like, what are you a good baseball player or something? And he so humble. And he's like, well, yeah, I kind of, I play some sports or whatever. And I go, all right, well, you know, how good are you, bro? You know, I want to see, right? How good, how fucking good are you, dude? I know I, I, I'm talking to a 15 year old like that. That's probably not the best thing to do. But I said, "How good are you, bro?" And he goes, um, and he's like, he, he wasn't, he wasn't intimidated. He just was like, he was like, over you. He's like, yeah, all right, well, but he was also humble. And he goes, I, I don't know, man. Like I've, I've, uh, well, I won, you know, like athlete of the year two years in a row for all four sports of my high school. And <laughs> I looked at him like, are you out of your mind? Is everybody in this fucking house like a superstar? But what it did, they're all so beautiful. They're all so humble. They all like came and hugged me. And when you watch the news and you see that everybody's shitting on that generation, you can't do that. That's not, that's what they want you to think. That's what they, you know, I mean, I'm sure out here that here in Southern California, I'm, I'm sure you guys are a bunch of assholes, but back in Dallas and probably the rest of the United States and probably the rest of the world, if you're listening out there in Ireland, we have a big shout, shout out to Ireland. You guys have been listening to us a lot and Scotland, which is fucking unbelievable. Um, thank you. Uh, but everywhere else too, Indonesia, we got a couple of you out there. I mean, your kids are probably good kids. And I'm sorry I can't express this with a better voice.
but I just want to say thank you to everybody that is raising kids out there because, man, I came back just exhausted. Not because of anything like, because you don't get any time to yourself, right? Uh, and it's not their fault. It's just there's kids and then, you know, I'm the guest and all that and they want to show me the, the best time possible and everything. And I'm used to, I, I'm a bachelor, man. I, I, I haven't been woken up by anybody since my dad. So nothing weird. But if it hadn't been like that, I wouldn't have got the opportunity to spend the time. I'd be sleeping until noon or something, maybe. And uh, I just want to say to everybody out there, you are taking care of your kids. And if you're doing good things, and we all slip up in life. But when you have kids, I know you're doing it to the best of your ability. Thank you. Yeah, I'm chilling on a dirt road Laid back swerving like I'm George Jones Smoke rolling out the window And ice cold beer sitting in the console Memory laid up in the headlights It's got me reminiscing on the good times I'm turning off a real life driving That's right, I'm hitting easy street on the tires Back in the day, Potts Farm was a place to go Load the truck up, hit the dirt road Jump the barbed wire, spread the word Light the bonfire, and call the girls King and the can and the Marlboro man Jack and Jim were a few good men Where you learn how to kiss and cuss and fight too Better watch out for the boys in blue In all this small town, he said, she said Ain't it funny how rumors spread Like I know something y'all don't know Man, that talk is getting old You better mind your business, man, watch your mouth Before I have to knock that loud mouth out I'm tired of talking, man, y'all ain't listen Them old dirt roads is what y'all listen I'm chilling on a dirt road Laid back, swerving like I'm George Jones Smoke rolling out the window And ice cold beer sitting in the console Memory laid up in the headlights It's got me reminiscing on the good times I'm turning off a real life driving That's right, I'm hitting easy street on the tires Sit back and think about them good old days The way we were raising our southern ways And we like cornbread and biscuits And if it's broke around here, we fix it I can take y'all where you need to go Down to my hood, back in them woods We do it different around here, that's right But we sure do it good and we do it all night So if you really want to know how it feels To get off the road, trucks and four wheels Jump on in, a man, tell your friends We'll raise some hell with a black top end Chilling on a dirt road Laid back, swerving like I'm George Jones Smoke rolling out the window And ice cold beer sitting in the console Memory laid up in the headlights It's got me reminiscing on the good times I'm turning off a real life driving That's right, I'm hitting easy street on the tires Let's drive Smoke rolling out the window And ice cold